Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 136 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. And we've just busted up some giant snake thing. So, swinging our weapon and landing a direct hit. Finally, that thing stops moving. Our ceases functioning. The head part busts off. And the greater portion of the body loses the support for the support from inside and falls to the ground. <laughs> Shaking it as it goes. Yay. No, oh, we've seen this scene before. Alright, so, it seems it's completely stopped moving. So, seeing this scene of that weapon broken down, it seems like the battle is over. So we wipe the sweat from our brow. So, that was pretty amazing. So, was it a weapon that was like the castle? Yeah, it's construction. Going by the look of its construction, it did seem like this same type of thing as the castle. But as expected, there wasn't a spirit or god inside of it. So it must have some motive power aside from faith coming from a god. I've always would like to take a look at it, how it is, how it's constructed, but it doesn't seem connected to being able to free Fia. Or could it be? If on the inside there wasn't a god or a spirit powering it, in that case, compared to the condition of the castle, the magic stones that it forms could be uh, analyzed. Well, one way or the other, it seems for now that all the enemies attacking the castle have been dealt with. At the very least, we can confirm that nothing this size is nearby. Although if in the same way it's sleeping inside the sand, that's a different matter. But we'll be able to feel the vibrations and that'll serve as a warning. So, confirming the weapon stopped moving, there are a bunch of cheers coming from the courtyard in the castle. Yay! Our defensive have turned away the enemy. And we did it. Everybody working together managed to get managed to seize victory. <laughs> yeah, good for you, kid. He says he tried his best helping out, too. <laughs> oh, okay, human child. Your actions were valuable. So, you should be proud of them. So all us people from all us different races get to enjoy the fact that we overcame this crisis together. ここはすごいな。人間族とエルフ族だって力を合わせてる。もちろん獣人族もな。相変わらず愉快な場所だぜ。Hmm, so this place is pretty amazing. 
the humans and the elves have worked together and the beastmen's as well as usual it is a pleasant place to be oh i forgot about you okay what's he saying there are dragons as well don't forget that oh ha fade away and be forgotten again Alright, we absolutely won't let you d kill the god, kill the goddess. So, with our own hands, we're going to protect the castle. Well, Guadakuna Castle Banzai. How about that? So, Fia's watching on the goings-on in the courtyard. And she looks really relieved and smiles. Typical Fia. So, this is good. Even after a battle like that. They're smiling. Eh. Well, they did their best to protect their homes. And they got the results. Of course they're happy. Well, since they found this uh, happy place of theirs, and they've been able to create that much, well, Havar is happy too. So, before we get attacked again, let's proceed further into the God's Haze. Oh, bam. Yeah, let's see, some kind of waterway. Anything? Yeah, I guess I can make a few things. Yes. And training. Oops. Hmm. Some of my summons have gotten these skills. Jeez, don't think that's a little excessive, Ranin. Six of them? They're pretty valuable. Oh, look at that. I get to use the mimics. Okay. Before I forget once again. Skills. Ah. Fia summons get combo skills that they can use when they're next to Fia. That's the Earth Elemental plus 24. Attack plus 24. Hmm. Well, what he's using now is attack plus 5. So yeah, that'd be impressive. I have an attack plus 10 that's available as well. Oh no. I have an attack plus 20 that's available. But it also reduces speed and accuracy. This one doesn't. In any case. Yeah, one from Ranrin next to Fia as well. Hey, range of 5, that's pretty convenient. I don't think I got that for anyone else yet. Nope, one for Rurin. Huh. Yeah, I have three range and magic attack. Not bad. Oh man, you're in your way behind on skills. These other guys have at least two pages. Alright, so. Looks like we're seeing some 
new enemies. Del Pune. Whatever that is. Oh, turbine skeletons. Well, they had turbines in um, that other game. Model Kokaku. They may not in this game. More of those uh, golems that we fought in the last couple of maps. Sintaru Aiv. I don't know what that is. Maybe I've seen it or maybe uh, I haven't. I wouldn't pass, put it past me to see something and then forget it. So, continue our exploration further into the God's Haze. We head into a dark cave. Wait, what? Well, it'd be nice if this place was connected to that pillar of light. So, after a while in the cave, we see a faint light ahead of us. So heading towards that as a beacon, we continue walking. Taking a look at the construction of this, most of the holy grounds are actually piercing all the way through the mountains. Kind of like a ruin. Well, anyway, we're here. Nice. So getting through the cave portions, we open into this dazzling scene. So there are a lot of parts that are mechanical, but the basic structure of the place seems to be a temple. Well, this is impressive. So it's an amazing, well, construction here. And it's different from the other places. Maybe it's like some kind of complex labyrinth. So the husks of the weapons that we found above ground, perhaps on the inside, inside of the mountain, might be remaining intact. Yeah, because all the weapons that were outside were all reduced to dust and scattered about. You wouldn't think that they'd be able to withstand that much, but, well. So, everybody's taken in by this spectacle. They're all wandering around, you know, basically like tourists. <laughs> So, even within that wasteland of a holy grounds, an actual sacred looking place like this can be. Yeah, this does look like a god's territory. Just like you'd imagine it. <laughs> so it seems like something really, really valuable might be hiding somewhere around here. Mm. So this has been for a long time completely cut out, cut off from the outside world. And there haven't been looters that have been able to get to it, so the possibility of treasures still being around is rather high. <laughs> so, treasures, huh? Wouldn't the castle being a taboo weapon be counted amongst that kind of thing? Well, and hearing Rosaline say that, we all of a sudden remember why we're doing this exploration in the first place. 
ガイダルの祖先が城塞を作ったという場所はここだろうか So Is this the place where ガイダル's ancestors would have made the castle? どうですか官僚士のお二人から見てここに我が主や城塞に関する知識が眠っていそうでしょうか How about it? You two engineers, from your perspective, is this someplace that might be connected to Fia or the castle? Or might there be knowledge sleeping here connected to Fia and the castle? So, receiving that question, of our own deep exchange a look. Hmm. It seems like a really important facility, but. This place wouldn't be fulfilled. Couldn't fulfill the role of a workshop. Ah, Jose no Kozo Shiraberet Tatunda, Kokono Tansagra, Shirio Gamiskara Kano Sewa Shikuda. Yeah, as a point to look for, play, for、uh, information about the castle, exploring here won't find a lot of materials. Pretty unlikely, yeah. Now, still, we don't exactly know what form what we're looking for is going to take. So, we don't know what's going to come out. Pretty mysterious and all. So, it might be written down in books or something. Or the possibility is that we'd have to sort through weapon husks in order to find anything. Well, this will be complicated. Well, if we can find anything that we can use as a clue, even a little bit, then that would be a big help. Anyway, this isn't the last place we've got to search either. Yeah, it seems like there's something further in from here as well. Yeah, judging by the surroundings of the castle, this could be the, the mountain. Judging by the size of the mountain. This place could be merely the entrance. Sophia's looking in towards the depths, towards a certain site. So, over in there, is that a waterfall? It seems to be shining. A shining waterfall. Oh, how. Pretty. So off where Fia is pointing. It's true, there's something shining. And it looks kind of like a waterfall. So in this area, there could be an underwater lake. So seeing this falling pillar of water, it's a bit odd. But what's really unusual is the fact that it's You know, glittering, shining. So it's not the same pillar of light as we saw from the outside. After all, that was ascending into the sky. Well, still. We don't know why this waterfall is shining. And no matter how much we think it out, we're not going to get an answer. Well. If something catches our eye, we better examine it. It might be connected to what we're looking for after all. So, the, whatever is going to come attack us may be different from what we fought on the outside. So, let's go and don't let your guard down. Here we go, explorations! Alright, sounds good.
Let's see, basics in the accomplishments. Gather everything in one to go and collect all the treasures. Easy. Gathering an herb. Gathering and mining. So, I'm going to cut for now. Next time we're going to find out what's in this place. So, I'll see you later.